The Jedi are advancing swiftly at this rate. They may get on board the ship, which would be problematic. We require a little more time. I don't. It implied something that. For the Empire. He's asking you to sacrifice yourself? To go. in front of them? Like these night troopers, they were okay to sacrifice yourself? If you're occupied with Morgan, Sabine and Ezra are gonna go after Thrawn. You know what I said in the intro? Sabine, she's gonna be confronted again to a choice, to make a choice. Ezra or Thrawn? for all of this preparation that we had during all of the season with her and the Force. You know? And she didn't make a personal choice right there, she chose to, to go after Strong. They are all waiting for you to... Your strategies 
she dealt with that. We had an entire episode about it. Shut up. No. No. It's wrong. It's with you. Girls. He told you what? Shin! I was on the ring! Something else is cutting him. Oh, the music scene. Just to date some here, okay. What? I need answers, guys. Come on. He managed to escape? No way! No way! I did not think that we would have that reunion for sure. So cool. Why? I want that hug. Why I can't have it? Is there a background be behind this relationship that I should know? So you're gonna know that Ezra is okay. It's cool. It's cool, my dears. It's cool. She chose her way. And thanks to you, as we got home. As for us where he needs to be. And so are we. What about now? Nothing. Just shadows in the starlight. Check that. You both felt 
him. Oh, the music scene right there is really great. Did you hear that music scene before? I have the impression that it's the first time that I'm hearing it. A little Star Wars main scene. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> they totally got me with that final music scene. It should, it should be the main one. Like. I should have heard it before during this season. It's the best music scene that they used during this entire season. Is it the main scene, you know, of one of the characters that you guys, you had before in Clone Wars and Rebels? Because me, you know, I'm thinking about Tales of the Jedi, The Mandalorian and all. We never had that music scene for Ahsoka at any moment. I can't remember, you know, it doesn't seem familiar. And that music scene is... For sure, the other ones were great, but that music scene is more powerful, intense, epic than all of the other ones. You know, like, why are you waiting for the ending credit of the final episode to put it? Oh, I'm sorry, it, it took me that music scene. You lost me for some... Oof. Uh, I'm gonna download it, you know, I'm gonna search for it on Spotify and stuff like that. Be sure of it. You know that I truly appreciate music themes into shows and in particular into all of the Star Wars shows so I'm really paying attention to them and we had plenty of good ones during Ahsoka during this first season really plenty of good ones but I have the feeling that this one ah, felt different like I felt it right there, I felt it right there like it was a good one, I'm sorry I'm so glad that I was wrong <laughs> about Ezra like truly you saw it during the intro I was not optimist for Ezra the fact that we spent the entire season searching for him the fact that we ended the last episode with him being like that's it I'm finally gonna come back home I was like okay you're gonna get killed you're gonna get arrested you're not gonna leave that planet or you're not gonna leave it with us like really I had that feeling so when that trooper, you know, took him. I was like, that's it. That's it. He's gonna get arrested. He's gonna get kidnapped. Uh, he's gonna get killed. That's it. So I was truly surprised when, in fact, not at all. And then when Sabine, she chose to stay with Ahsoka. I'm gonna come back to that decision. And when he was on his own, in <laughs> he was on his own, lost. And you know, with the things that he was making, I really thought that that's it. He was lost with them, like he was gonna act like he's a trooper, he was gonna hide and all. So I was like, that's it. He's lost again, like. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's a nervous loss because truly, I was like, that's it. All of that to, to lose him again at the end. And in fact, no, he managed to come back like, I truly didn't think that it would be an option, that it could happen. I'm so glad, like really, I'm so glad that my theory was wrong, that he's back home and all. That moment with Era, like that reunion, for sure I didn't think that we would have it because of all of what I just said. But the fact that we don't have it truly, you know, we don't have that hug, do I need to know something about their relationship? You know, for the second two that we're gonna have, do I need to know something? Like, is there a background, you know, is there something right there? She was not with him, you know, it's not with him that she had her boy. It gave me the impression, you know, that something more intense was happening right there for them, you know, that love feelings or stuff like that. You can tell me that, but be careful with spoilers, you know, you can answer yes, no, you'll see. Something like that, don't tell me too much, you know, but I want to have the answer about it. Okay, about 
Sabine's decision, I think that it's one of the big things of this episode. The fact that she chose Ahsoka during that moment, you know, I was confronted, like, I was disturbed because during that moment I knew that it was a big decision that she would take and with the fact that before she made the wrong decision because it was too soon for her, you know what Asuka said, I was like, that's it, it's a response to that moment, now you have another big decision to make, which one are you gonna make, the right one or not? And the fact is that if we are following, you know, what her first decision was, it was to go after Thrawn, you know, to do something against Thrawn, to stop Thrawn, or to make a personal choice. And right there, to go with Ezra to go after Thrawn, or to make a personal choice by staying with Ahsoka to save Ahsoka. So again, she made a personal choice Again, she didn't make the choice which would have been to go after Thrawn. At first I thought that she made the choice to go after Thrawn and I was proud of her. And then, in fact, no, she showed her face and we understood that she stayed with Ahsoka. And I was glad for them, for Ahsoka, for Sabine, for their relationship. But at the same time, I was like, Again, it's a personal choice that you made. I can't blame her for that and I don't want to blame her for that. And like Ahsoka, what she said to Sabine about the fact that she would be always there for her, even if you know she's not making the right decisions and all, because Anakin was there for her, always stood up for her. That was a cool discussion. For sure, I'm always gonna be like, okay, Sabine, you made that decision. I understand your logic. Let's follow that path now. But I'm gonna continue to wonder, you know, about the decisions that she's gonna make at some point, you know. Can she always make a personal decision? Like, you know, also that what I said in intro, I want for the girl to evolve because I have the impression that... No, it's not an impression. She's a padawan, she's learning, and not only about being a master, about the force and all of that, but also about fighting for the cause, thinking about the big picture and stuff like that. And right there I have the impression that because she took that decision, she didn't evolve. We'll see about it, you know, about if during the next season she's gonna evolve and all. She evolved with her training, she managed to use the force, not only to take her saber, you know, and save that fight, but also with Ezra to help him with that big jump. That was so cool. That was cool also that he trusted her with that because he was not sure that she could use really the force, so he trusted her with that. Sabine and, and Ahsoka's relationship evolved. They got closer and what Ahsoka said about the fact that she would always be there for Sabine, it's really great. And that thing at the end with Anakin, for sure it's great and it's also a response to Ahsoka's development, you know, during this season about the fact that she was fighting with that idea of Anakin being a part of her, of being a part of his legacy, about her choices, about Sabine maybe who could be like him. So, for these two at the end to feel him, for him to have his eyes on them, it was a good response to all of that. Yes, they are part of his legacy, both of them, but it's okay because they kept the nicest part of him. <laughs> I don't know how to say it in another way. And Anakin, not that Vader, but Anakin himself, he can see it and he's proud of them for that. I can see, I prefer to see it like that. See it as you want. I'm seeing it like that. We didn't have all of the answers that I wanted to have. I didn't want to have all of the answers about all of the story, you know, all of the show and all. But at least for Bailand, for example, the path that he's taking like, we had little clues about it, something, someone calling him, the fact that he's standing right there, but 
it was not enough she she joined you know in fact trans guys who were left on that planet i hope that we're gonna see her again during the next season like truly Bailan, we know that we're not gonna see him again i mean we're not gonna see this actor again it's bad but i don't know what they're gonna do with his character are they gonna recast him or are they gonna prepare something to end this character you know without us seeing it tell me if you know that you know what they decided to do strong living like that going on that planet with all of these things like i still don't know what it is truly don't tell me that on the comments i don't want to know if you know the answer don't tell me i want to discover it during the show but see that's one of the answers that i wanted to have and that i thought that we would have i think that the answer about where they are going you know the planet it's already a good answer but it's not enough morgan died that i did not expect it you know that she would transform into one of these sisters all of what happened during that moment the fact that she was letting her life behind you know it was really a question of dying without really dying giving your life to something else at the end she sacrificed herself that was something interesting you know the fact that first they said that the night troopers were okay to sacrifice themselves for him, for the cause, you know, the empire and that after that he's pushing her to do the same and she's accepting it it was well done, you know, well written but yes, she died it's weird I thought that she was a cool character that we could have kept but no that was a really great episode that was an action episode when I thought that it would be a mix of action and reveals, you know, discussions and in fact it was almost only an episode of action it's great, for sure, for a final episode, it's great, it's intense, I love it and the musics were really great all along this episode the best one was during the, the ending credit but it was cool it was well done, it was well played, I was stressed, but I wanted more. <laughs> and now we're gonna have to wait to have a season 2. I'm pretty sure that we're gonna have a season 2. You know, at the end of some of these seasons of Star Wars shows, each time we are like, hmm, they prepared stuff for a season 2, but are we really gonna have it? Because in fact, it would be enough just this season right there. I can feel, you know, that it's not that they prepared stuff for the season 2, it's almost like they wrote that season 1 knowing that they would have a season 2. I don't know if for sure we're gonna have a season 2 or not, because you know that I hate spoilers, so I didn't make any researches, anything like that. So if you know the answer, again, you can tell me that on the comments. But I'm feeling it like that. And it's great, because it was a really a good show. You know that my favorite shows Star Wars shows so far, it's really The Mandalorian and Andor. Again, if you didn't watch Andor, watch it. Like really, I have the impression to make a propaganda about Andor, about guys, watch Andor. If you are an hardcore fan, if you are a regular fan, if you never watched Star Wars shows, if you never watched Star Wars, I swear Andor is for you, for all of you. Watch it! And it's so well done and uh, all of the subjects explored and all of the casting and the pictures and would watch it <laughs> but all of that to say that Ahsoka is a really good one you know if I have to rate them it's a really good one for sure it can be just better than the book of Boba Fett but it's really easy <laughs> Bad girl, bad girl! <laughs> I'm really like... Shh. Okay, it was cool. Tell me what did you think of it? This final episode, but also this entire season. Was it everything that you expected? If you are not a core fan, also if you are a regular fan, tell me that. I'm interested by your opinion. Okay, 
it's all for me and for you for today. So it's all for me for now. So bye for now. Bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Crazy.